Linda Susan Gottfriedson was born on June 24, 1947. She received her PhD in sociology from John Hopkins University. She is currently a professor at the University of Delaware. She has completed much research on topics such as cognitive ability on social inequality, employee selection, job analysis, chronic diseases as it relates to job performance, and more. This all led to her theory, which integrates how children begin to think about which careers they may like to pursue. In 1981, Linda Gottfriedson created the theory of circumscription, compromise, and self-creation. This theory focuses on the developmental experiences and socialization of an individual. Her theory of circumscription is a process of eliminating career choices and is divided into four stages. The first stage is orientation to size and power. It applies to children between the ages of three to five years old. In this stage, children become aware that adults have roles that are bigger and more powerful than them. For example, during stage one, children are taught to assign value judgments. For example, they classify things as strong or weak, or an adult is big and the child is small. The second stage is orientation to sex roles. It applies to children between the ages of six to eight years old. During this stage, Sex role norms and attitudes in children surface. They begin to classify things based on gender appropriateness. In other words, children learn what their genetically conditioned self-image is supposed to be based on whether or not they are a boy or a girl. The third stage is orientation to social evaluation. It relates to children between the ages of 9 to 13 years old. During this stage, children begin to label occupations according to their social status as well as their sex type. In other words, during this stage, when it comes to choosing an occupation, we more so focus on income, status, and effort the abstract view of what these jobs are to us. The final stage is orientation to the internal, unique self, and it applies to children that are 14 years of age and up. In this stage, children use complex concepts to eliminate occupational options that do not fit with their self-identity. In other words, during this final stage, one will replace idealistic aspirations with more realistic aspirations. These are based on what is accessible to who they believe their true selves to be. Next is Gottfriedson's theory of compromise. This occurs when a person begins to sacrifice roles that they see as more compatible to themselves for those roles that are more easily accessible to them. Lastly is Gottfriedson's theory on self-creation. This theory states that genetics influence a person to create a life that is based on one's own genetic makeup. One cultural consideration for Gottfriedson's theory of development is that the theory needs more research on diverse clients, but it can be used with most cultures. Another cultural consideration to take into account is that with Godfrey's theory, it will not be beneficial for someone who is already in their career field. One last cultural consideration for Godfrey's theory is that it does not fully explain how one is supposed to use their gender to help understand themselves better. Overall, Godfrey's theory of circumscription, compromise, and self-creation 
is a developmental theory that is best used with young individuals. It is used to help find a career based on their gender, genetics, environmental surroundings, and perception on power and prestige.